Hey guys, what's going on? In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to install Windows 10 on your computer. So, first things first, you're going to need to go to the link in the description and you will end up on this page by Microsoft uh, called Download Windows 10. So, if you cannot find this page or it changes, go to Google and just type in Microsoft Windows 10 Download and you will probably end up at a page similar to this. So, here you will see it says Download Tool Now 32 bit or Download Tool Now 64 bit. The way you check if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit is go to the Start menu and right-click on Computer and click Properties. Uh, you will see under System Type it says 64-bit or 32-bit. If you have Windows 8, you're going to go to the Side menu and you're going to pull up the Search. You're, you're going to see a little magnifying glass and go ahead and type in Computer and right-click on Computer and you will pull up Properties. Uh, kind of the same way we did on Windows 7 and you will see whether you need a 32-bit or 64-bit another thing you will need is a USB stick that has at least four gigabytes of space uh, as it says right here I have a USB stick that has eight gigabytes of space so that'll do uh, perfectly well so since I have a 64-bit version of Windows I'm going to go ahead and click download tool now 64-bit version so then you will save the file wait till it downloads and go ahead and run it so then you will get this window that says upgrade this PC now or create installation media for another PC uh, we are going to do create installation media for another PC just because this avoids many problems than if you were to upgrade this PC now. Uh, make sure you back up everything in your computer, important files such as music, Word documents, Excel documents, uh, any documents that are imp to importance of you. So go ahead and click create installation media for another PC. And then you're going to go ahead and choose your language. I'm going to do English, United States. Windows 10 and since I have a 64-bit as we checked before I'm gonna go ahead and click 64-bit so just click next and then click USB flash drive because that's what we are, are you gonna use for this tutorial uh, as you can see mine says G letter G so it says G Davies USB so go ahead and click next if it corresponds and then it will download Windows 10 okay so when that's done you're gonna go to the G button and you're gonna see that all the files for Windows 10 are onto that USB so then go ahead and click finish and now we are done with that step if you plan to install Windows 10 on another computer then safely remove your USB drive as I am if you plan to install Windows 10 on this computer, then you can go ahead and leave your USB drive. Now for part 2 of this video. Okay, welcome to part two of this video tutorial and what you're going to need for this part is you're going to need the product key of your Windows 7 or Windows 8 edition and uh, some computers have the product key integrated into the BIOS as my laptop actually does. Uh, so most Dells now have them integrated into the BIOS. So go ahead and figure out your product key. If you cannot find it, chances are it's integrated into your BIOS. So after after we go through the setup, you're gonna click skip on the on the enter product key, and then it'll auto detect it in Windows 10. So I'll walk you through that entire process right now. So go ahead and take that USB that we installed Windows, or not installed, but we downloaded Windows 10 on, and go ahead and put it into your computer or laptop, and then boot your laptop 
and boot to the USB as soon as possible. So F12 to boot to the USB. Some computers use F2 and some computers use F8. So make sure you know which uh, which button you, your computer uses to boot into the USB. So I'm going to go ahead and go to I'm going to go ahead and go to USB. Then you will come to the setup and let me just zoom in really quick. You will see language to install. I'm going to choose English, uh, time and currency format, English, and keyboard input method, English. So go ahead and click next and click install now. Like I said, I'm going to skip the product key. If you have the product key, go ahead and enter it. The reason why I'm skipping it is because, like I said before, it's integrated into the BIOS. So it will auto detect it when the Windows 10 comes and is all set up. So go ahead, accept the terms and click ne next. And then right here, you'll see two options. Upgrade, install Windows 10 and keep file settings and applications or install Windows only advance. Uh, Okay, so you can do either or. If you keep file settings and applications, you're not going to get a full clean installation of the operating system. Uh, I want a full clean uh, uh, installation. So I'm going to go ahead and click install Windows only. Uh, it's up to you really what you want to do. Uh, I just said back up your files in case of anything. You never know what you might press by accident. So I'm going to go ahead and click install windows only events. And then you're going to choose the partition. And you're going to scroll down to your main drive. My main drive is where it says windows primary. So I'm going to go ahead and click windows primary. Make sure you're doing the correct drive. And then I'm going to click next. Okay, so right here it says if the partition you've chosen contains files from the previous Windows installation and files and folders will be moved to a folder named Windows Old. So always remember that uh, Windows Old will always keep your old uh, old files, uh, applications in case of anything. So go ahead and just click OK. and getting ready getting devices ready when this message comes up it's time to enter the product key like I said before if you can't find your product key there are different ways to find it uh, I have mine integrated into the BIOS like I said many times already uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click do this later I'm gonna go ahead and skip the uh, internet step you can go ahead and uh, if you know your Wi-Fi password go ahead and type that in uh, you'll get updates automatically but I'm just gonna make it easy for myself and skip this step then I'm gonna just go ahead and click use express settings And then go ahead and make a username. So I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, who's going to use this PC, Davey. Uh, I don't want a password on it right now. I do recommend having a password, but just for the sake of this video, and I'm trying to speed it up, I'm not going to put a password. It says it won't take long, but trust me, it'll take a while. and now you will have Windows 10 on your computer so like I said before if you have an integrated product key 
go ahead and go to this little folder right here and right click on this PC right click right here and click properties then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and activate Windows and that's it there you go if I helped you guys out please leave a like subscribe and comment thank you